Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst. It is hot, hot, hot here today. And after I'm done with this tip, I'm gonna put my bathing suit on and I'm gonna hop into the pool. Except that we don't have a pool, so that's gonna be a little tricky, but I'll worry about that later. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be focusing on workspaces and I really hope that you are using workspaces. Uh, they're very, very valuable. They basically take a snapshot of your screen, all right, like the edges of your AutoCAD display. What do you want to have on the screen? And what you want to have on the screen is probably different than what I want to have on the screen. So you need to customize it so it works the way that you feel the most comfortable. So AutoCAD comes with a variety of workspaces. I'm sure you've seen these, the, the 2D drafting and annotation one, a couple that have to do with 3D, and then the good old AutoCAD Classic for those of you who are ribbon rebels and want to go back to the menu system and the toolbars, <laughs> you know who you are. But I think that you should save a workspace just for you that works just the way you want to work and also so that when you upgrade to the next release of AutoCAD, you can take your setup with you so you don't have to reset it up. Make sense? So workspaces are front and center on the quick access toolbars. You can all get to them very easily. If for some reason you're on a release where you don't have the quick access toolbar, which would be 2009, before 2009, uh, you can actually just type in the workspace command and get to it as well. But let's take a look. So right now I'm in the drafting and annotation workspace and I'm gonna set up my own, all right? I'm gonna make some changes. I'm gonna turn off the navigation bar. That's this guy here on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm gonna turn him off. I am going to move the command line to the lower left-hand corner where God intended it to be. <laughs> Let's see what else. I'm going to do a right-click and I'm going to hide the layout and model tabs. Okay, I'm going to make a bunch of changes so you can see a clear difference. I am going to, how about if we reduce the size of the ribbon so only the tabs are displaying. And is there anything else that I want to do? Oh, I want to, let's do control one so that we have properties on there. And I like to use the Sheet Set Manager. So we're gonna put the Sheet Set Manager on there. If you want anything else to go over there, you can as well. So you can see on the left-hand side of my screen, I have the icons for the Sheet Set Manager and for properties. So I can get to those very easily. Maybe you wanna put layers over there, whatever you use all the time, all right? Now, it doesn't do, do me any good to make changes to the status bar at the bottom of the screen here, because to be honest, it's if you make changes, this is something that's universal through all workspaces and it's not gonna, not going to take for your specific workspace. It'll just stay that way no matter what. The same is true with the quick access toolbar. That guy is the way it is for all workspaces. So that's something that you should think about. Okay. All right. So I'm going to drop this list down and I'm going to say save current as the way my screen looks right now, the display of my screen right now, I'm going to save that as, well, we'll call it catalyst of course. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna switch back over to where we were to start with with drafting and annotation. And you'll see that I get the navigation bar back. You'll see my command line move. You'll see that I don't have my uh, sheet set manager. I don't have properties on the left-hand side of the screen. And you'll see that I also have my layout tabs are back. So pretty much all the changes I made, for the most part, they're, they're, they're gone, right? But if I come up here and I drop this down and I say catalyst, you will see that I get those changes back. Give it just a second to sync up there, all right? So we're kind of back to where we were before, right? So you wanna definitely save a workspace of your favorite layout, all right? That's something you should do. You can save multiple ones if you want, but we're gonna dive a little bit deeper than just that. You'll see if I come up here and drop this list down that I have an option for workspace settings. Let's take a look at this workspace settings manager. So you'll see this is a list of all of my workspaces that I have saved. And you'll see that you can, you know, you can move them down if you want, you can move them back up. You'll see that you can, you can add in a separator line and I'll show you what that looks like in just, in just a minute. And you'll also see that you cannot delete, like I can't go in there and delete my workspace. I can't even go in there and delete my current work, one that isn't current. Um, it's just a thing for you to keep in mind, but I can actually uncheck that. It will no longer display. So let's decide that we're going to uncheck 3D modeling. All right, and let's take a look. So let's see what we've done. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to drop this list down. You'll see that the current workspace is always listed at the top. You'll see the separator bar that was added in there, and you'll see that I turned off that 
3D modeling workspace, right? It's not there anymore. All right, let's go back into workspace settings. Now I'm gonna turn 3D modeling back on. Um, I'm also going to do a right click on separator and you will see that it does allow me to delete separator, just doesn't allow me to delete a workspace. And as I mentioned, I can say I don't want it to display anymore, but it's still there. And if you're like me, when I want something gone, I want it really gone. <laughs> so I'll show you in a minute how you can actually delete any workspaces that maybe you made by accident or you don't want to use anymore, all right? All right, a couple other things while we're in here. When switching workspaces, so when you're in a workspace, uh, do you want it to automatically save any changes that you make to the workspace to the current workspace? That's this option down here, automatically save workspace changes. Don't do that. It really slows you down. I don't recommend that you do that. I think that you, if you want to change your workspace, you make changes and then you resave it like I showed you how to do. All right, that's what I would recommend. All right, so I'm gonna hit an okay to get out of here. You'll see that we got rid of the separator bar. We brought back 3D modeling and I'm gonna make my current workspace. I'm gonna put it back to drafting and annotation. All right, because I'm gonna show you how you can delete these workspaces, really delete them or rename them because that's something else I can't do in the workspace settings dialog, right? So let me show you how to do it. You have to go into the CUI command. Oh, we love that command. <laughs> it's a pretty intimidating command. I say this command is not as bad as it looks, but it can be pretty intimidating. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you take a look up here, you'll see, look, there are my workspaces and there is Catalyst. So if I decide I don't want to have that available to me anymore, I want to delete it for good, right click, you'll see that I can rename it an option that wasn't available to me before and I can delete it. There's some other things you can do in here as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and say delete. Are you sure you wanna delete it? Absolutely, I do. And I'm gonna say, okay, take it out. Now, do yourself a favor. We don't want that to be the current workspace. Don't have it your current workspace when you go to delete it, okay? Bad things will happen. If I drop this list down, you will see that it's gone. It's not there anymore. And now I'm back, as I mentioned, to the way I started at the very beginning of the presentation. So. Save a workspace, save, save the settings the way you like to work so you're all nice and comfy and cozy inside of AutoCAD. And um, I'm gonna go try to find someone who's got a pool. And I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me.